Good morning, good morning, good morning, and welcome to The Good Life with me, Eileen. We are here on Money Monday, and we're here to open your mind. Good morning, good morning, good morning, and welcome to Money Monday. I have my partner in voting on the line, Kelly Medina. But before we go into that, the Good Life Money Monday is brought to you by LNR Security. LNR Security. So I want to thank all of my sponsors out there because without them, the Good Life would not exist. Right, Kelly? It's about money. It's about Money Monday. We we need it to keep everything going. Telly. Good morning. What's up? <laughs> I was like, you slow this morning. I know I'm slow this morning. If y'all hear my voice, it's a little bit scratchy because I was rooting for the New Orleans Rising Stars in Houston this weekend. They uh, had a great comeback in their third game. I shout out to Aiden because he did two clutch uh, free throws in the end to open it up. We went to the semifinals and we lost there on Sunday morning, but that's okay. They, you know, they did their best, and of course we're going to prepare for our next tournament. So make sure y'all come out and see them for su- Super 60 because you know that's the good life. <laughs> and I'm gonna tell you when their games are. <laughs> Right, Telly? No. <laughs> gets too much attention. I'm tired of that shit. <laughs> okay. Well, when Telly Jr. is knocking the ball, you know, 300 yards, you know, I'm still going to go support him because that's what the good life is all about. And I want to yeah, thank we, everyone we, who supported me this weekend and who supported, you know, all of the newly elected officials from the Republican and the Democratic side for the um, – uh, I say OBDEC. Well, I'll focus on the oh Democratic my God. side Did because that's really for me. Win? I did. In real life? I'm so excited. It was my oh, first time God. on the ballot. I did. But actually, I won't say I won. I will say the community won because, you know, they elected um, representatives for the next four years to, um, you know, make our voices heard. You know, a lot of people talk the talk, but I decided to walk the walk. So I want to thank you very much. I am, you know, hum- I am honored to um, represent you as one of your 14 delegates from um, uh, District A. So thank you I very just heard much. Francis Underwood give that speech this week in the House of Cards. It sounds very political. Well, you know what's you funny? I don't even watch House of Cards. As many of you know, I don't even really watch TV. I am a CNN junkie. I love to watch. Uh, Aiden watches it with me at times now. I love to watch people interview, so that's what I do because that is good life for me. I, I like to I like to practice my craft and and watch people, and I, I know that's a lot of what you're doing up there in. Baton Rouge, you're watching people be crafty, <laughs> right? It is <laughs> during the fiscal is, session. This is the last week of the regular of the legislative special session uh, that the governor called in regard to deal with our 850 million dollar fiscal crisis. How much? Uh, 850 million. 800 and okay, and 50 yeah. million. I was just yeah. sure that we had the right numbers. So, well, wait, and uh, that's just, just for this sure. year, right? Because our next fiscal session starts in July, so that's really only a couple months. Yeah. Okay, and, I'm just being clear. And our regular session that starts, you know, basically next week, mm-hmm. uh, we will have a $1.9 billion uh, budget shortfall to deal with. So uh, our <laughs> beloved governor, Bobby Jindal. Uh, beloved by you. Very Former. Place. I like to say I know you. I know you voted for him. I mean, not, not to lie. No. Um, but with you could have paid me to do that. Uh, yeah, you and you and Aiden voted for Bobby Jindal. And put not, that out there. Not. But don't even. Don't even that do it. Said, with that said, uh, we are. We saw that they just sent the cigarette tax. Actually, uh, nine hundred and forty-three million. Thanks, Jacques. <laughs> Go ahead. Exactly. So they just sent the cigarette tax to the governor's desk to sign. I will say this: if you're still smoking. I don't know, even if rich people can still afford to smoke. Cigarettes must cost $75 a pack at this point. It is crazy. But I guess, you know, some people still have to deal with some addiction. I'm not smoking. But one, but one addiction and, that And honestly, wait, I have to say this for a second. For all of you out there cool. that do smoke, please consider, you know, quitting. I know it's an addiction. I know that it's difficult. I know you may be stressed. But 
But think about your family members, your children, when you, you know, become ill or sick or, you know, have to go to the hospital, the, the amount of bills that are going to, you know, uh, catch up with you. I had a friend's mom who passed away of COPD, and that was absolutely awful to watch her go through that. You know, her daughter uh, staying up at night to literally watch her sleep because at any moment she could stop breathing and she was on oxygen at night. And that's just, you know, one option. You have asthma. You have third hand smoke. You're giving it to the children. It's like on your clothes and it's your fingers. It's everywhere. And I had a lot of family members who passed away from lung cancer. My grandmother did. You know, it doesn't just affect you. It's not a decision that just affects you. It affects everyone around you. So, you know, just you know, this isn't any pressure, but just, you know, I want to plant a seed. If you smoke, consider, you know, quitting because that's the good life. Go ahead, Telly. You finish? No, I can I can continue because With smoking that, is, yeah. I'm, well, I'm passionate about not doing it. But, you know, I, know. I can't control I know. anybody but myself. I had a, I had a friend I uh, talked to this morning, and uh, his dad died early this morning of a massive heart attack. Oh, my gosh. uh, It was because, you know, he stopped smoking, but he smoked for a number of years, Mm. a number of years meaning like 30-some-odd years, and eventually it caught up with him. Uh, so that that is in all seriousness, of course, you know, from my dad, who also had three heart attacks and three strokes, started smoking when he was 14 and smoked damn near until he was 74. So. Mm. Anyway, with that said, where we are within uh, the city, shout out to all of the new elected officials for ABDEC, um, and even some of the people I know on ABREC. I know Eileen doesn't like the Republicans, but... I never said uh, that. Know, yes, you did. Yes, you did. And <laughs> uh, with all my up. Republican friends that I have been trolling on Facebook, I am in full support of Donald J. Trump for <laughs> the Republican nomination. I am in full support. I want everyone on the radio to hear that, that I am in full support of Donald J. Trump. I may even wear a shirt for Trump so that he can get the Republican nomination so he can go head to head with Hillary Clinton. I want everyone to know that. I'm in full support of Donald J. Trump for the Republican nomination. You you know what, Telly, that's really funny because I had to explain to my son that Louisiana went to Trump. And he was like, Trump, what are you talking about? And so I had to, you know, I gave him the breakdown of how we're going through the primary process. And he was like, oh, like he had like a big sigh of relief because he thought Louisiana went, you know, for Trump solely. And I was like, no, you know, the Democrats chose Hillary Clinton and the Republicans chose Donald Trump. And he's like, really? Why would they do that? And I was like, you know what? I had to look at him and be like, you know what? I don't understand either. So if there's a Trump supporter out there that would like to call in and explain, you know, your point of view and why you think that he can move our country forward, we would love it. But Telly, as you did say, um, you know, I'm looking at a great head to head with Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump. I think that will be a very interesting um a very interesting general. But, yeah, and yeah. you know what? I want to ask you this. And, you know, the, y'all know I'm for Hillary Clinton and by no means am I knocking Bernie Sanders. But did you see the debate last night? I did. OK. As a as a woman, but I, won't, I don't even want to say as a woman, as a human being, what was your perspective on his tone and mannerisms last night? Well, I mean, here's the thing. Uh, there are... When a woman at times uh, is the aggressor, mm-hmm. uh, you have you would have people. And keep in mind, there are more women than men. There are more women in the electorate than men. Mm-hmm. You always have to be conscious of how you're going to talk to a woman. This is the first serious chance, with the exception to Shirley Chisholm on the way back in '72, mm-hmm. that a woman has a chance to win the White House. Um, she was aggressive towards uh, Senator Sanders, mm-hmm. and I think he matched that aggression. What I will say is the first time when it was kind of playful, he was like, oh, all right, Senator Clinton, all right, Secretary Clinton, that was fine. Mm-hmm. I think the second time it was kind of even kill. The third time seemed to be a bit more demonstrative, and she seemed to uh You could see her reaction. Corner, I had the same know, reaction she did, honestly. A little bit different. Huh? I had the same reaction she did. I was like, he did not just do that on live television. Yeah, and I, and I mean, and just watching both of them, her. you know, I don't, I, I don't, I don't, and I don't want to compare him to anyone, but, but watching both of their demeanors, like mm-hmm. when when he spoke, she let him speak without you know waving her fingers or mm-hmm. whatever. Mm-hmm. She let him speak, then she waited her turn. But every time, I'm not kidding, she got through maybe two sentences, he started raising his finger like, I'm next, I'm next. And, like, Mm -hmm. for me, it was just very distracting. And I thought, Mm -hmm. you know, maybe that's something he needs to reel in for the next uh, 
the next debate or, you know, when they're live on television. And, and when you're know, by yourself, I mean, you might not understand. It might be passion, so. but he needed to roll that in for me. Yeah. So he and, and what I would say is the also the thing would be is he's probably a set. He's gotten his butt bust <laughs> in a few of these last few states. And she's I know, about like 60 percent. Yeah, and pick up stage and pick up momentum. And he's going to have to calm himself a little, you know, be uh, not be aggressive, but not be agitated. Right. Uh, And so if she played it calm, her demeanor played it calm, uh, he seemed a bit over the top. And so I don't think he meant any disrespect, but hey, people, uh, and I've been doing this a while, but people can look at that and say, you know what? A man isn't supposed to talk to a woman like that no matter what. And a lot of people are going to see it that way. For for me, I mean, of course, I was a woman. I wouldn't appreciate it, but I wouldn't appreciate that, you know, doing that to anyone. But, I mean, you see it in the Republican debates all the time. I think that's why we're just kind of, you know, used to it on that side. Mm-hmm. We just weren't used to it in the Democratic de- the debates. And to see it kind of get a little – go a little sideways was uncomfortable for me. But that's just me. And what, el- but, what, what else is uncomfortable? I would also, I would also say this. Um, it can't be a cop-out. It can't be that if, if State Senator Karen Carter Peterson is on the Senate floor, if she's had some vicious uh, debates uh, with both women and men. Yes. So the expectation that if you want this big dog position, you want to be the boss, at times you're going to match, you're going to see aggression, and sometimes you're going to have to match that aggression. Um, and so, the, But the, I think that's what made the, the, the Democratic so, uh, debates different is that there wasn't mm-hmm. the – drama of the Republican debates. And, you know, it yeah. was it was very uh, civil and respectful. And so, and, you know. And, I, and let me say this. If you are a Hillary Clinton supporter, then, and you have the expectation that she will be running head to head with Donald Trump, I don't know if Mr. <laughs> Trump is going to change his tone in order to run against her. He's not. So maybe, so maybe Mr. Sanders or Senator Sanders is preparing Hillary for being seriously trolled uh, and on an attack and the things that she'll have to do when she comes into uh, the general. So it, it, here's the thing. You're not running for man president of the United States. You're not running for woman president of the Correct. United States. You're running for president. Absolutely. I need you to be prepared. And so put that aside. At, at some point when Hillary Clinton is president, there's going to be the red phone. It's going to be 2 o'clock in the morning, and she may have to send men and women in the harm's way. I don't want to hear that thing about you're emotional because you're Oh, no. Now, okay, now. You're you go going there with me. I'm not. Yeah. Uh, that's a whole other conversation. We're going to save that for yeah. next week because that'll take more than the th- next three minutes of this segment. So I'm going to ask you about the increasing sales tax that they're talking about, an additional penny. What's the deal with that? Uh, you may need to pay that penny sales tax for the next uh, 18 months. It's supposed to start possibly on April 1. Uh, we think that this penny sales tax will help get us off of this cliff. Um, that may not mean anything to, you know, people like Eileen who makes millions of dollars in salary. You know what? I like the way you claim that for me. W-B-O-K. Everybody, let's claim that. Eileen uh, is making millions. Everybody millions. say it. Let's put it out there. Thank you, God, for my favor. But, Go ahead. But for the <laughs> lower middle class people like myself who are barely getting by, uh, that penny uh, sales tax on a washing machine might be an additional $12. And that might be the $12 that's the difference between me having to call my friend, you know, Mr. Jones or my friend Ms. Johnson and make a decision on what you need. Uh, so you may have to pare those things down. You know, people, that's why uh, there's a push for earning some tax credits so some of the folks can get some monies back uh, after uh, they have paid their taxes to the state. So there's a variety of different things uh, that are happening. But uh, since I have, am a bit sick and under the weather, you do hear that expression, when America, <laughs> when America catches a cold, black folks catch the flu. So with that being the case, we have to pay very close to the details on how this is going to affect us, how it's going to affect our public universities, like a Southern, like a Suno, which are the bear rocks of our community. Um, if they're going to be dollars that are going to be left within the legislature for mentoring programs or uh, IT programs for STEM and the things that you may have through the churches or the Calvin Mackeys of the world, those things are critical to cultivate in our community. Uh, so we're concerned about what our finances look like as a state, but we have to correct the ship. Is there um, some talk, and I, I, need, I need you to explain this to me, is there some talk for a second penny increase? There has been some talk for a second penny increase, but overall, I think the general consensus has been that we're not going to do that to the state, and it isn't uh, within our best interest to do it. Okay. But there has been some talk about it. I, I needed some clarification there because I was like, and if there is more talk about that, you're going to give us the information, correct? That is correct. 
Because and, and who would be pushing that second penny? Like, what, what's the deal? Who's I mean, you may, may, may be some of the individuals, not on Ways and Means, but on Appropriations Committee that may be talking about it. But gotcha. I think overall, you know, all across the 64 parishes in this state, there are people who have resources, but there are poor people in every different district. Uh, and so I think as the 105 legislators in the House and the 39 in the Senate, you know, take the opportunity to listen to their constituents on how this is going to affect them, how this is going to affect our mom and pop cleaners, or, you know, are people still going to go to the dry cleaners like they usually do if they want to bring? If you worked at a, I don't know, a UPS store, if you worked at the post office, the person might say, you know what, I got to wash my stuff from now on and press it myself. You you got to think about the little people within that time frame. People like you and I will probably be fine and we can make it through. Uh, but every cent counts. What you talking about? Uh, AIDS is expensive. Children are expensive. Yeah, yeah. tripping. Yeah, I need expensive. every penny I can save. And that's exactly what we're going to talk about. Um, today on Money Monday, we're going to talk about, you know, 21 spent ways that spending a little bit more will actually save you money. And we're going to mm-hmm. talk about the top three ways to make your money work for you. So y'all want to stay tuned for Money Monday today. And it'll be, um, I'll come right back with Kenneth Barnes of KB Enterprises. Telly, thank you so much for everything that you do. I know, wait, you're across the river though. So you didn't vote for me. So I'm not, never mind, never mind. No, <laughs> Thank you, everyone from District A, for voting for me. I really appreciate it. This is Money Monday, and we will be right back. Do you know anyone with less than perfect credit? At KB Enterprises, they specialize in restoring your score. Learn how to increase your credit score with 100% satisfaction guarantee. A-plus rating with the BBB, 10-year track record of removing negative items, including repossessions, foreclosures, bankruptcies, tax liens, student loans, and more. Kenneth Barnes and his team at KB Enterprises are excited about helping you restore your credit and achieving your financial goals. Whether it's acquiring a home or purchasing a car. Don't miss this opportunity to change your life forever. For more info, give them a call at 504-577-4139. Log on to www.kennethbarnes.org and be sure to tune into The Good Life on Money Mondays and get your financial tips for the week from Kenneth Barnes so you can live the good life too. Gentilly Italian Pies, home to the $5 Family Happy Hour. Specials on pizza, wings, and drinks, Tuesday through Thursday, 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. Gentilly Italian Pie does fresh for the entire family. Salads, pizza, pasta, wings, and oven-baked sandwiches. Gentilly Italian Pie offers lunch and dinner in a new, modern atmosphere surrounded by big screen TVs. Dine in or carry out by calling 504-826-9180. That's 504-826-9180. Relax, have a drink from the fully stocked bar or beer on tap while your order is made from the freshest ingredients. Gentilly Italian Pie, 4706 Paris Avenue. It's home where everybody knows your name. So bring the family to Paris and Maribou for the $5 Family Happy Hour, Tuesday through Thursday, 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. That's Gentilly Italian Pie. Dine in or carry out, 504-826-9180. That's 504-826-9180. You gotta try the pie. That's the original Italian pie located at Paris and Mirabu in Gentilly. Carter Business Development delivers. For businesses to compete, they must have access. Let CBD be your bridge for business development services, radio advertising, social media marketing, brand ambassador, outreach, and access. Contact Carter Business Development at 504 400 7127 or email Eileen at TGLRadioShow.com. Carter Business Development creates unfolding opportunities. CBD connects the dots from where you are to where you want to be. Join the good life now with Carter Business Development, 504-400-7127, 504-400-7127. As quoted, a man who stops advertising to save money is like a man who stops a clock to save time. Let CBD save you time and give you access. Call 504-400-7127, 504-400-7127. Take the steps required for access so you can live the good life too with Carter Business Development. That's 504 400 
our security keeps our family, friends, and event goers safe. And to do that job, they are looking for you. LNR Security Services is now hiring persons for the New Orleans Jazz and Heritage Festival, armed and unarmed guards. All interested persons should contact LNR Security Office at 504-943-3191. Fill out an application at LNR's office at 3930 Old Gentilly Road. That's New Orleans, Louisiana. To become one of the proud workers of LNR Security, the minimum requirements are 18 years of age, a completed work application, and criminal background check. Two forms of ID, whether it be a driver's license, a state ID, military ID, social security card, or other forms of picture ID. LNR Security is looking for qualified employees to assist in keeping the New Orleans Jazz and Heritage Festival safe. They are looking for you. Again, contact them at 504-943-3191. 504-943-3191. LNR is always looking for armed and unarmed guards. If this is your profession, they're looking for you. Hi, this is Norman Robinson. New Orleans East Hospital is open and providing quality health care in your neighborhood. The New Orleans East Hospital is bringing our finest physicians into a beautiful new facility where you receive compassionate caring service. Emergency room services at New Orleans East Hospital are some of the best in the region. To learn more, visit our website at noehospital.org. Your health matters to us at New Orleans East Hospital. Back on the air. Let's go to the phones. Caller, let me help you. Hi. Um. So I've been trying to get my landlord to fix my washing machine for weeks, but he keeps avoiding me. What do I do? Excellent question. Well, have you been to AT and T? Uh. Why is my landlord there? No. But when you have AT and T Wireless and Direct TV, you can get unlimited data. Sounds great. But how will that fix my washer? Well, it won't. But now that AT and T and Direct TV have joined forces, you can enjoy your favorite Direct TV shows on your phone while you're counting quarters at the local laundromat. Sweet. <laughs> Sweet indeed. AT and T, mobilizing your world. Come into AT and T now and get the Samsung Galaxy S6. Must have eligible TV service. If you're not eligible, AT and T will move you to a new plan, and overage charges may apply. After 22 gigabytes of data usage, AT and T may reduce speeds. TV content varies by device, location, and package. Monthly and other charges, usage, and other restrictions apply. See store for plan details. Awesomely amazing, the facts made clear. Data News Weekly, the paper to cheer. The people's paper for natural growth. Honorable achievers achieving the most. Data News Weekly, the future of our youth in the city of New Orleans, without excuse. Understanding the expression "Black Lives Matter," yet we're failing to climb the ladder. The absence of love, the missing link. It's time we commit to effectively think, uplifting our women, families as well, safer communities, in order to excel. Managing anger, developing our minds. Data News Weekly, prevent. Decline, restoring our decency, restoring our faith, thoroughly conscious, removing disgrace. The best of character constantly applied. Self determination, no one denied. Mothering children, mothers up to par. The purpose of life beyond a star. So let us prioritize what is urgently needed. Data News Weekly, regression defeated. No longer distracted, no longer confused. So great is the substance of Data News. Pick up your copy of Data News Weekly today. You are now listening to the radio station that's keeping it real. WBOK 1230 AM, where it's real talk for real time. by Morris Reed Jr., a New Orleans law firm. If you have been hit in a car accident or charged with a crime, call 504-488-HELP. That's 504-488-4357. 
The Morris Reed Jr. Law Firm is a full-service law firm that fights vigorously to get you the money you deserve. If you or a loved one has been injured in a car accident or you have been charged with a crime, call Morris Reed Jr. and let their experienced, highly qualified attorneys provide you with expert legal help today. Call 504-488-HELP. That's 504-488-4357. 504-488-4357 because that is the good life. I have Kenneth Barnes of KB Enterprises on the line with me. Good morning, Kenneth. How are you? Good morning. I'm great. Have you been spending your money this weekend? (laughs) Not too much. Not too much. So much, but that's it. (laughs) What? Look, that's funny. You didn't expect me to come back like that, huh? (laughs) No. I like to put everybody on the spot. Have you spent too much money this weekend? Hmm. That's a thought. I'm going to let y'all marinate on that for a second because we have an article that I I read from wisebread.com, and I thought it was very, very interesting, and it's actually encouraging you to spend your money. It's 21 times that spending more money will actually save you money. So see, there was a little trickery in the conversation there. 21 times spending more money will actually save you money. You know, money, money. Money Monday is all about ways that, you know, we learn how to use our money. We learn how money works for us. And sometimes we I want to give you little tidbits where if you spend, you know, a little bit now, how it will save you on the back end. So that's kind of what we're going to talk about for this segment today. You know, Kenneth, we always talk about saving money, but sometimes it's putting up that upfront money to save you a little bit. And I know you deal with this sometimes in 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 your line of work, because when we had the um, oh, gosh, what was the gentleman's name on uh, the last Monday with the with. Uh, the mortgage with the homes. Oh, I forgot his name. Your friend. Oh, Terrell. 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 Yes, yes, yes. But, you know, in order to save money on the purchase of your home, you know, going to somebody like Kenneth Barnes and getting your, your finances in order and getting your, you know, credit check and all of that together, spending that on the front end actually saved you thousands of dollars on the back end. Right, Kenneth? That's exactly right. It's about making those investments. So that, you know, we want to open people's minds a little bit differently in the world. Sometimes spending a little bit more on the front end will actually save you a lot. So, you know, I want to go through a couple <laughs> that and, you know, these are these are real life, you know, uh, I don't know how to say this. They're, you know, I don't want you to take it awkward when I start throwing these out there because you're going to be like, really, Eileen? But yes, really. You know, the first one is a hair trimmer. Buy a hair trimmer kit. For the family, sometimes about twenty, thirty dollars, and you can get free haircuts at home or free, you know, touch-ups at home. And you and you haven't paid the regular, you know. Sorry for all the barbers out there, but you know what? When you have kids, you know, and all they need is a trim up. Sometimes, you know, you can like trim it up at home. I know the guys are going to look at me sideways right now, but it's it's the truth. You know, you can really save money there. Kenneth, would you agree? Or you know, some some guys have to have their hair cut every week, and some ladies you know. have to have their hair done every week. I was bad about that, too, so I understand both sides. I'm bald now. But, <laughs> but it's cheaper, time. isn't it? <laughs> when I did have hair, um, I was bad about the barber. I was there. I was one of the people um, uh, spending my money crazy. And shout out to all the barbers and beauty stylists out there. But uh, I was going Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. I wanted that Steve Harvey line. Are you time. serious? Oh, yeah. But let me not talk because yeah. I know there are people out there who go twice a week and who go on a regular basis. And, you know, if, if that's you and it fits in your budget, then, you know, do your thing. But if you were looking w- for ways to reduce your spending everyday expenses, that's what we're talking about here. We're talking about everyday expenses that where if you spend a little bit of money on the front end, you can really, you know, reduce it in the long run. And, you know, throwing a hair, buying a hair trimmer. One. Go ahead. You know, it's amazing because when I went bald, Eileen, um, I was going to get my hair shaved. I'm like, and even my barber said, dude, you know you can do this yourself. Because he was like, come on, Ken. Let me show you how to do this yourself. And I, I'm so happy I did. But even when my son was younger, Eileen, mm-hmm. I, I was I, I knew how to cut hair from growing up. I used to make a little extra money uh, cutting, cutting hair in the neighborhood when mm-hmm. I was younger. So I would cut my son's hair for a long time before he needed to get these new styles, you know, later on when he got bigger. Right. But all those years, I... It was so easy because I can go get the clippers, uh, line them up, trim them up, and we could be done just like that. Right. I know when Aiden was little, I mean, I have a set of clippers at home. I used to just trim them up in the back if that's all it needed. I mean, now he goes to sit at the barber. You know, shout out to Case Clothes in the East. Um, but uh, strict, if you all know who I'm talking about. But anyway, you know, 
But yeah, when he was little, I'd, you know, do a little quick trim if we had to go somewhere or whatever the situation was and it just made life easier. So, you know, we're giving, we're giving you everyday ways that you can spend a little bit and you can um, reduce your expenses for the long term. Coffee. Look, you just talked about Starbucks. Invest in a coffee maker that makes you happy. Buying your own coffee uh, making equipment. Uh, maybe a hundred dollars, two hundred dollars, but in the long run, think about how much you spend in Starbucks throughout the course of the year. If you buy that, spend that two hundred dollars now, then get something you enjoy. It won't be like you're actually giving something up, but you actually be saving in the long run. Absolutely, because that's expensive. And yes. I, that's one thing I got to probably back off of a little bit See? more. That Starbucks. See, and I know I have. You know, you watch uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Periscope, what what is all that? Snapchat. You watch people with their, you know, Starbucks addition addictions, and they have to go here, there, and everywhere. You know, I, I don't know how much the I'm not a coffee drinker, so I don't know what the Keurig machines are. You know, those that really make you happy, like oh, I just have to have these, and you can do it by the cup, and you're not even wasting them. You know, just think about it. You know, if you spend a little bit of money on the front end, how much it will save you over the course of the year. The next one, y'all get a lunchbox, pack your lunch, stop spending twenty dollars every day. For lunch, that adds up. Twenty dollars every day, twenty times five—that's a hundred dollars, right? That's exactly right. And actually, uh, for the uh, coffee uh, machine, it's ninety-nine dollars for the Keurig, and also I got, I got the Starbucks. Oh, there you go. At my home in Atlanta, I should do one here. Mm-hmm. But, um, See, <laughs> but also for the pack, packet of the lunch, I do a really good job of that, guys. On Sundays, I learned this from my bodybuilder friends, so I, it's a habit I try to start implementing into my life. On Sundays, do all your meal preps. So you have all your your foods cooked for the week, Mm -hmm. and then you're able to kind of have them into containers and then put them in your lunch kit. And that way you're ready to rock and roll each day of the week. Absolutely. And then, look, it helps your pocket and your body because you end up – you don't understand how – when you actually know what you're eating, (laughs) what's actually in your food – you know, your body is uh, the reaction you will get from your body. Just watch. I, I dare you. Pack your, I don't want to dare anybody, but, you know, pack your food for two weeks and see how your body changes. You know, just try it. It's a good life. Open your mind. Live different in the world. I'm sure all of our direct TV and um, cable providers will love this right now. HD TV <laughs> antenna. Buy an indoor HD TV antenna and get a free TV forever. You won't, you won't get as many channels over the air as you do with, you know, cable or satellite TV, but it's free and it's hard to beat. You can save, you know, maybe a hundred, hundred fifty dollars every month just by getting an HD TV antenna. And you know what? Sometimes you really won't miss those channels. You really won't. Uh, you know, Eileen, until you, uh, it's happening <laughs> you in a way you don't, you don't know what you would miss and, until you, you, you lose it. And once it's gone, you realize, I thought I couldn't live without it. Mm. And then I realized, you know what, it wasn't that bad. The world didn't come to an end because I didn't have cable no more. It's actually, you know, I hope my cousin is listening. Shout out to Pat because she actually bought, you know, she was listening to the air when I said, you know, they cut off the thing. And I was like, I am not buying cable. And so she bought us the HD TV antenna. And it works beautifully. So, you know. I try to go out there and try it, and guess what? I'm saving money because that is a good life. I don't do stuff that I don't try myself, y'all. I don't tell y'all stuff that I don't try. So I've tried it, and I like the way it works, but, you know, you and try I, it for yourself. I mean, there's also these boxes, too, like the Amazon uh, Fire Box. Yes, the, the Fire available. Stick or something like that. Yeah, the Fire Stick. Mm-hmm. Uh, those allow you to watch all the latest movies at the, at the movies right now, and along with a lot of other channels, and you only pay it that one time. It's a and lot. You need high speed internet to be able to operate the box, but it gives you a wealth of challenge uh, channels and also movies that's at the theaters and everything. Exactly. So, y'all, just open your mind to living differently in the world. You know, we're talking about little ways that you that you may spend money on the front end, but that it will save you over the course of you know the year. Y'all are gonna love this. Especially y'all guys. I'm going to skip a little around, Kenneth. Car wash kit. Equip yourself with your own car washes at home and avoid paying the $10, $15, $20, $50. $50. You know, when you get a detail and all that, you need soap, sponges, a hose, and a sprayer. And a little bit of, you know, a child <laughs> or a cousin or, you know, a little bit of action so they can, you know, bend down for a long period of time. That's what Aiden's for to get the, <laughs> to get the rims. That's what Aiden's for. But you know what? Spending, you know, car wash kit, it's not only you're saving money, but you're getting exercise. And you can make it a family affair. Honestly, you know, time where you're not in front of the TV, you're not on your electronics, and you know, go outside and wash your car. We, we used to do it, you know, it, it used to happen. It's not, you know, unthinkable. It's not outside, you know, our our frame of thinking. Wash your own car, Kenneth. I'm all about that, too, because nobody's going to clean that car like you could and you should. I don't see the uh, same 
title of the old school car washes anymore. It was $10. I know we used to do that as a business when I was growing up. And I used to love washing cars. Um, and really? You know, for ten dollars, mm-hmm. I mean, nowadays you're gonna pay for that same, not even the same package, fifty bucks. Right. You're gonna detail your car yourself. Take your time on a Sunday morning, while the weather was pretty on yesterday. Get up early, get it done, or Saturday. Kind of morning. a stress reliever too. And don't don't your car run smoother when it's clean like that? It does, and then you appreciate it more. You really do. That's right. I know I appreciate it when I get out there and I scrub, <laughs> you know, my wheels are like, oh, I'm going to be so much <laughs> nicer. Like new car. Yes, it is. It is. Now, y'all are going to love this one, especially with, you know, the debate being at Flint, Michigan um, yesterday. And just, you know, the water concerns all over the world. A filtered water system. Buy a water a filtered water system and, you know, hook it up to your, you know, your faucets in your house. It will eliminate having to buy a lot of that bottled water. You can, you know, infuse your water with lemon and strawberries and fruit and, you know, put the pictures in the, in the refrigerator. You will eliminate the need for, you know, buying all of that water over and over again as I sit with my bottled water. But this is the one that I'm really going to do. I'm going to buy a filtered water system um, so I can, you know, stop buying bottled water. It's a good life, y'all. And I like the idea, too, of, of putting the uh, lemon in it as well because it's a yes. fat burn, you know, and it's fresh. And also, too, Eileen, I apologize. I forgot to mention it. We need to take good. one second to shout out you for your victory. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You want to let the listeners know that, you know, because I said it in the first right segment, there. but I'm really I really am humbled. You know, I and I am going to. Um, make sure that when we have discussions and, you know, I really inform the public on what's going on in the Democratic Party, because that's what the good life is all about. And it's all about, you know, um, um, exposure. That's what that's the only difference between us is exposure. And so that's what we want to do. I want to open people's minds to living differently in the world and I want to give, you know, some information that you may not be able to readily get. And that's what it's all about. So we are going to take a quick break. And when we come back, we're going to discuss how to make the money that you're saving on all of these items work for you. So hold on, Kenneth. We'll be right back, y'all, because that is a good life. Security keeps our family, friends, and event goers safe. And to do that job, they are looking for you. LNR Security Services is now hiring persons for the New Orleans Jazz and Heritage Festival, armed and unarmed guards. All interested persons should contact LNR Security Office at 504-943-3191. Fill out an application at LNR's office at 3930 Old Gentilly Road. That's New Orleans, Louisiana. To become one of the proud workers of LNR Security, the minimum requirements are 18 years of age, a completed work application, and criminal background check. Two forms of ID, whether it be a driver's license, a state ID, military ID, social security card, or other forms of picture ID. LNR Security is looking for qualified employees to assist in keeping the New Orleans Jazz and Heritage Festival safe. They are looking for you. Again, contact them at 504-943-3191. 504-943-3191. LNR is always looking for armed and unarmed guards. If this is your profession, they're looking for you. Back on the air. Let's go to the phones. Caller, let me help you. Hi. Um. So I've been trying to get my landlord to fix my washing machine for weeks, but he keeps avoiding me. What do I do? Excellent question. Well, have you been to AT&T? Uh, why? Is my landlord there? No, but when you have AT&T Wireless and Direct TV, you can get unlimited data. Sounds great. But how will that fix my washer? Well, it won't. But now that AT&T and Direct TV have joined forces, you can enjoy your favorite Direct TV shows on your phone while you're counting quarters at the local laundromat. Sweet. <laughs> Sweet indeed. AT&T, mobilizing your world. Come into AT&T now and get the Samsung Galaxy S6. You must have eligible TV service. If you're not eligible, AT&T will move you to a new plan and overage charges may apply. After 22 gigabytes of data usage, AT&T may reduce speeds. TV content varies by device, location, and package. Monthly and other charges, usage, and other restrictions apply. See store for plan details. Gentilly Italian Pies, home to the $5 Family Happy Hour. Specials on pizza, wings, and drinks, Tuesday through Thursday, 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. Gentilly Italian Pie does fresh for the entire family. Salads, pizza, pasta, wings, and oven-baked sandwiches. Gentilly Italian Pie offers lunch and dinner in a new, modern atmosphere surrounded by big screen TVs. Dine in or carry out by calling 504-826-9180. That's 504-826-9180. Relax, have a drink. 
drink from the fully stocked bar or beer on tap while your order is made from the freshest ingredients. Gentilly Italian Pie, 4706 Paris Avenue. It's home where everybody knows your name. So bring the family to Paris and Marabou for the $5 family happy hour, Tuesday through Thursday, 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. That's Gentilly Italian Pie. Dine in or carry out, 504-826-9180. That's 504-826-9180. You got to try the pie. That's the original Italian pie located at Paris and Marabou in Gentilly. Awesomely amazing, the facts made clear. Data News Weekly, the paper to cheer. The people's paper for natural growth. Honorable achievers achieving the most. Data News Weekly, the future of our youth. In the city of New Orleans, without excuse. Understanding the expression, black lives matter, yet we're failing to climb the ladder. The absence of love, the missing link. It's time we commit to effectively think, uplifting our women, families as well. Safer communities in order to excel. Managing anger, developing our minds. Data News Weekly, preventing decline. Restoring our decency, restoring our faith, thoroughly conscious, removing disgrace, the best of character constantly applied, self-determination no one denied, mothering children, mothers up to par, the purpose of life beyond a star. So let us prioritize what is urgently needed. Data News Weekly, regression defeated, no longer distracted, no longer confused. So great is the substance of Data News. Pick up your copy of Data News Weekly today. This is your legal line of the day, brought to you by the Hilliard Law Firm. When a family member who owns a home or other property dies, the legal ownership of their property is transferred to their heirs. But this does not happen automatically. The process of transferring ownership from the deceased to their heirs is called a succession. In many instances, when the bank or financial institution is alerted that an account holder has passed away, the bank account of the deceased will be frozen until the proper legal documentation is provided. Provided. So whether the deceased owned immovable property such as a house or just a bank account, the heir or heirs may have to open a succession in order to obtain ownership of the property. If you are faced with the death of a loved one, please consult an attorney who will provide you with advice that is specific to your situation. This was your legal line of the day, brought to you by the Hilliard Law Firm. For more information, call 504-729-6133. Carter Business Development delivers. For businesses to compete, they must have access. Let CBD be your bridge. For business development services, radio advertising, social media marketing, brand ambassador, outreach, and access. Contact Carter Business Development at 504-400-7127 or email Eileen at TGLRadioShow.com. Carter Business Development creates unfolding opportunities. CBD connects the dots from where you are to where you want to be. Join the good life now with Carter Business Development, 504-400-7127, 504-400-7127. As quoted, a man who stops advertising to save money is like a man who stops a clock to save time. Let CBD save you time and give you access. Call 504-400-7127, 504-400-7127. Take the steps required for access so you can live the good life, too, with Carter Business Development. That's 504-400-7127. You are now listening to the radio station that's keeping it real. To be BOK 1230 AM, where it's real talk for real time. Life with me, Eileen. We are here on Money Monday, and we're here to open your mind. We are back on Money Monday with Kenneth Barnes on the line from. I don't even know where you are in the country right now. You're all over. 
But we are back in the, on the line, and I actually put the full list of 21. If you are interested in ways that you can, in ways that your everyday life you can save money, it is on the Good Life Radio Show on Facebook, and is at the Good Life Radio Show on Twitter at TGL Radio Show. If you'd like that full list of ways that you can find to save money in your everyday life, so make sure you go check us out there on our social media platforms. Kenneth, even when we're saving here, there, and everywhere, it really is hard to actually see that you're saving money because it's so difficult because it requires discipline. (laughs) Yes, the D word. (laughs) The D word. It requires discipline. And you know what? So many of us, regardless, just like you said, Starbucks, even if we do decide to not do that Starbucks every day, we're not spending it, but then it's it's sitting in our account, you know. So how are we actually going to physically save the money? Because sometimes it's it's that piece that we miss too as well, correct? That's exactly right. So, y'all, even if you weren't successful investing the money you saved, you know, it's like, congrats, you skipped the morning coffee every day for 365 days. You have $730, right? Up. Oh. Probably not because you then didn't put that exact two dollars away every single day. Because how many people do that? Put that two dollars aside every single day. Can I? No, not many people. And we talk about that quite often because we look at gas prices right now. Uh, we we had the budgets for paying a lot more in gas. Mm-hmm. Um, we should have been actually saving that difference in that money because it feels good to fill up that tank for almost 50% less than what it was costing us before. But where's that money going now? Kenneth, I filled up my tank for $22 yesterday. I didn't know what to do with myself. <laughs> Gas was $1.39. It feels great, doesn't it? <laughs> I was like, hallelujah. Like, I was doing a little dance. I was like, I couldn't even believe it. I was really very excited. It was, it was like... It was like a cartwheel moment. It really was. I was really excited. I know. And because yeah. I, I used to drive a truck a couple of years ago, and I was just like, you know, when prices were high, it was like $80 to fill up a, the truck. And I was like, this is not okay. No. So, you know, you really have to be, you know, open your mind to living differently in the world. And so we're going to give you three steps to actually save money without the misery. Number one, automate your finances to make saving money painless and spending guilt free. You know, one reason we don't save money is the pain of putting money into our savings account each month. Just like the lattes, we may do it once or twice, but if we have to make the decision every paycheck, we're setting up ourselves for a failure. So make sure you, you know, set up an automated way so that you don't even see it and it goes straight to your savings. Kenneth, how important is it to really get a grasp on something like this? Like if you know you're saving, let's say $50 a month between your you know, your latte addiction when, you know, your haircuts or, you know, your car washes, say it's $50 a month, you know, automatically take that out of one account and have it transferred to another. So it's not even there and you don't even miss it. Kenneth? You know, it's very important too, because I, I had a seminar this weekend and I uh, mentioned the fact that almost everybody that was in the room mm-hmm. actually had money in their 401k, more money in their 401k than they actually had in their savings, not even close to the matching what the numbers were. And I said the reason why I know that without knowing each and every one of the people in the room Mm -hmm. is because the money's taken out of your check pre-tax before you touch it. (laughs) It's like I know you have money in your 401K. Right, right, right. So so that was a reality check. The second thing is, too, not only do we want to have it where we're taking it from us to put away to protect us from ourselves, but we also need to develop that discipline, not only for us, but also if you have kids, for them, for example, if the money is being put away in the 401k, you can't know that the money is being de- debited out or things like that, how money's working. They are learning money through us. So what we have to be able to do, I don't care if it's $50, especially when it comes on that cable TV, mm-hmm. it better be at least 50 to $100 that we're putting into an account where we're building and we're bringing our kid with us to the bank. They're filling out the deposit slip. Yes. They're, cir- they're circling savings, filling it out. They're filling out so they learn the currency. They know how to write currency out, and they know how to deposit. They're mm-hmm. also going to get the, the, the envelope in the mail when it comes on a month on a statement growing. Right. We have to do it for not us, but for them. them. Y'all, we have to teach our kids about money. I mean, obviously, we can't, we're can't. we not going back and forth, but I want you to think about that. How many of our parents taught us completely how to handle money? And how to invest money, how how money works, you know, the value of a dollar and the value of, you know, putting that dollar back in currency or, you know, using it to invest for yourself. How many of us, 
you know, really learn the full spectrum of how money works. You may have learned a piece of it or how to budget or, you know, but how many of us learned all of that? You kind of learned by trial and error as you became an adult. Exactly, exactly. And learning by trial and error is costly. And yes. we all know it very firsthand. <laughs> Exactly. So we're going to give you these tips. And, you know, that some of it's, it's things that we have said over the past years, but sometimes it's stuff that we need to be re- reminded about. You know, y'all, negotiate your bills one time. Save money every month. Negotiate your bills. Instead of cutting back on the things we love and we can save money on the things that we hate paying for. For example, Ken talks about this all the time. Negotiate your cell phone, your car insurance. Y'all, car insurance is definitely something you can shop. Your credit card interest, it's definitely something you can shop. Even your bank fees, you can shop banks and, you know, go with the bank that has the best rates. You know, one time, five minute call can save you every month. And even if you save $25 on your cell phone bill per month, which is very reasonable, you could cover half of your morning lattes or, and no willpower needed. Or you can take that 25 and, 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 um, put it on the side. Say you did it for your cell phone, your credit card, your bank, and your, uh, your car insurance. And you came out with, let's say, $75 and have that plus, you know, getting the, uh, washing your own car and maybe getting LED bulbs or whatever else, saying you make a hundred, one hundred twenty-five dollars a month, actually having that direct deposited from your account where you don't miss it, y'all, that is really going to add up in the long term. Kenneth, how important is you know just doing something small like that? How is that going to benefit us? Most wealth is built through small increments. Most, mm. It's not going to be lottery. You know, the lottery is the lottery, which is almost, and believe it or not, one out of three people that's their only mentally choice in their mind of ever becoming rich. But the truth is it's those small increments is how wealth is accumulated. Mm. All money, it starts off with small things. And if we look at it that way, I don't care if it's a, if it's a leak in the ceiling. If you don't put that bucket there, those little bitty drops will become a bucket full. And it's the same way our money works. Exactly. And then you're paying that water bill. Don't let it leak, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> For real. Every, I remember somebody, I'm serious, you're laughing, but I knew somebody who had, you know, a crack in the pipe that was like right outside, but it was, you know, on their, on their property te- technically. And that water bill was no joke. So if there's a leak, you know, literally or figuratively, it will add up. So make sure you take care of that. And we're going to focus on some big wins. You know, I have um, a list of seven that, uh, Kenneth, I want to give to, get your, uh, your two cents on this. Seven big wins that can make your money for the rest of your life. Number one. Automate your finances. Two, start investing as early as possible. And early means today if you haven't started it already. Um, Number three, improve your credit score because it will save you money in the long run. Number four, land your dream job or, you know, just put out feelers. You know, even if you're, you you know, an extra five grand a year can really make a difference. And while we're on that line of thinking, negotiate a raise. Ask for it. Uh, Closed mouths don't get fed. Ask for the raise. Number six, make money on the side. Kenneth talks about this all the time. Your average millionaire has seven streams of income. Find another stream of income. And number seven, negotiate your rent. There's always another option. Find the other option. Kenneth, how important are these seven ways um, of making money for the rest of your life? How can they really impact your life? You know, automating your finances, starting early, improve your credit score, you know, negotiating a raise, uh, looking for an extra job, money on the side by a side business and negotiating your rents. How can that, you know, because your rent is basically your biggest or your mortgage is your basic. um, Well, you can't negotiate your mortgage, but you can look for different, you know, interest rates. So that is a way to negotiate. How important are these things that can really, you know, save you time and money? Extremely important. And if a person impl- implemented those seven in the month of March, this month right now, it would change your 2016 and also your, your, your life because a habit would now be formed. And that accumulation of just those savings right there will also apply times 10 years out and look at your financial statement from there. I promise you, you'll be financially free. That's true because I'm 37 now. I'm going to put it out there. I'm 37. So if I did all of these things... At By 47, 47. y'all think about that. Think about how old you are. And I had 10 years. If you started, you know, these seven examples in 10 years, your life would be entirely different. Automate your finances, start investing as early as possible, improve your credit score. Kenneth, how important is it? What, even if you did, you know, change your credit score by a, a little, how many points is it to really see a, a difference? Well, generally, if you, you can go up to about 100 points, it, it doesn't take a lot to get 100 points. And it's all about knowing those scoring modules. And it's a scoring matrix. And when you know how to trigger the scoring matrix, it can, it can boost those points very, very 
quit. It's just about getting educated on how to do it. We're about to go out, but, you know, I'm going to put you on the spot. Give us one way that, you know, paying attention to our credit score, because I know you said don't cut. Well, look, I'm giving you one way. Don't cut long, you know, uh, 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 don't cut, uh, what do you call it, things that were open for a long period of time. I can't even get the wording correct. Oh, yeah, a, a trade line that's been open for a while. Yes. Yeah, don't, don't close the account. Don't People close it. it available. A, another great tip, too, is to keep your bills, uh, your credit card, 30% or under. Uh, a lot of times, you know, if I have a $500 card, I go to spend 300 on it, my credit score would drop from that, even though I've never been late on the monthly min- minimum payment. Really? Uh, them, yeah. Wait, say that yeah. one more time. I think somebody missed it. Say that one more time. Never go above 30% of your credit card. So if you got a $500 credit card, $700 credit card, don't go above 30% of that limit. Because even though you've never been late, it penalizes your points and you'll take a nosedive and you did nothing that was truly bad because you never missed a payment. Y'all, don't go over 30% of your credit card limit. That's the good life. If you get one takeaway from today, that is it. We are opening people's minds to living differently in the world. We are here on Money Monday. We have Kenneth Barnes of KB Enterprises. Kenneth, what's your number if they want to contact you? 504-577-4139. That's 504-577-4139. And I want to thank LNR Security because Money Monday is brought to you by LNR Security. We could not do it without our sponsors. Thank you so much and stay tuned tomorrow for Relationship Tuesday, y'all. It's going up and I will announce where our event is going to be tomorrow. So make sure you stay tuned. Relationship Tuesday is going up on a Friday. Make sure you stay tuned tomorrow and you'll find out where. I'm out. Thank you.